what how would you how would you want to like when they're in that boat mm-hmm. i guess you can say when one is feeling that way and you're the other the, maybe the spouse or the friend or you know whoever it is on the other side trying to help that person that's that you know that their loved one is feeling depressed but then too maybe they're feeling it too because they're hurting too you know for because of their during the process during the process like how how what would you encourage them i think a lot of people are going through that yeah yeah you know witnessing someone else experience depression can be painful to you but that is not a direct it's not saying that you also have depression yeah right so it. The truth is that we experience emotions, you know, we're sentiment beings first, Mm -hmm. you know, so Mm -hmm. seeing someone in pain, we, that's part of the empathy. We also feel their pain, you know, or we feel pain because they're hurting, but really it's about getting to know what's, what's inside of you, right? Doing the inner work for yourself, getting to know your own emotions, Mm -hmm. practicing how to label what you're feeling, Mm -hmm. you know, Uh, I brought up language earlier, like oftentimes we don't have the language to really know what it is that we're feeling yeah. and language is huge language yeah. allows us to understand and so really doing the work for yourself right knowing um what it is that you're experiencing because what we tend to do is we tend to take responsibility for how other people feel yeah. right and so when we see someone experiencing low mood you know or experiencing depression we end up making it about ourselves, mm-hmm. you know, and we don't want to do that. Yeah. We want to keep the focus on the help that the other person needs um, because they're the ones asking for the help, right? right? Or they're the ones needing the help. And so starting to do the work, you know, within yourself is is important so that you can show up for other people. Yeah. Yeah.